In this problem, we have an inelastic collision of two cars at a 30 degree intersection as depicted. I've listed the masses and velocities of each vehicle. We want to find the angle the cars will travel at and the final velocity of the two cars. Recall that an inelastic collision is where the cars are fused together into one solid mass, and the momentum, which is the mass times velocity, is conserved. We will be assuming an ideal circumstance, or in other words, all energy goes into motion and there is no other losses. Energy is conserved. How do we go about solving this one? Let's first break the yellow car's momentum into x and y vectors. We do this by creating a right triangle, then using the property of right triangles, SOHCAHTOA. Recall that the sine of the angle is equal to the opposite side of that angle over the hypotenuse or longest side of the triangle. So rearranging so, we get that the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse, which the hypotenuse will be the mass times the velocity of the yellow car, is equal to the y momentum vector when we break it down. The y momentum vector is the up and down vector. We can do the same thing for the other leg, but instead of the sine, we use the cosine portion of SOHCAHTOA. We get that the momentum of the yellow car times the cosine of 30 degrees equals the momentum in the x direction or left to right direction. Now we can make a new triangle with a leg that is the gray car's momentum plus the momentum of the yellow car in the x direction, the cosine portion from the previous step. The other leg of this triangle will be the y leg of the yellow car's momentum vector, the sine portion from the previous step. Now we can take the inverse tangent of the opposite leg over the adjacent leg of this triangle we just found, the TOA portion of SOHCAHTOA. We get an angle of 12.91 degrees above the horizontal road. Now we can plug our triangle's legs into the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Rearranging to get what we are solving for, c hypotenuse to one side, we get this value. To get the velocity of the two cars after the collision, we can divide the momentum value we found in the previous step by the total mass of the system, which is the mass of the gray car plus the mass of the yellow car combined. We get a final velocity of 84.63 kilometers per hour or 52.58 miles per hour. A quick note, if your professor gives you this problem, but there is a slight angle to both of the roads, you can just orient it so it has this position as depicted in this problem, then basically just add whatever the additional angle is to your final answer. That concludes this video. Hope that I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.